everything that we do, we can get hurt at it every minute, like you mentioned. So you got to keep an eye out on yourself and others. And I think you all have done that, and I greatly appreciate it. Every deployment I've been on from Operation Provide Comfort in the early 90s, um, Operation Deny Flight in the mid 90s, Operation Southern Watch, and our Operation Iraqi Freedom that followed, they all had a joint multinational interagency element to them. Up on that ridge line, second gun suppressing the MDP, move us, Pete! I hope that I always think from a perspective of, uh, of how I would want the other services to support me. And uh, so therefore, I, I try to think of how I can support the other services from a joint perspective. And those, those are kind of the ideas that we're trying to bring together in the class. They will all think from a common mindset. Have an opportunity to kind of start developing the foundation and the, uh, and the relationships that will help them solve uh, seriously complex problems as we move forward. One of the big points of education and, and military education at this level is taking the experiences and education largely focused at the tactical and operational level to this point and setting them up for what comes next which is largely strategic and more complex or wicked problems uh, that we face as part of the, you know, our national security strategy or, or government um, operations or joint operations abroad. And uh, we're here to, to, to fulfill or execute the chairman's instruction on, on JPME and uh, that has to do with bringing all the services together not just an additive uh, effort, but uh, to see that all the, the officers that come through this program see the synergistic effect of executing these joint capabilities. Just being able to understand the complexity of the environment is half the battle. And then uh, to develop critical solutions to some of the challenges that, the challenges that we face is going to be a, uh, a critical capability that our senior leaders need. An important step in our strategic leader development process is to get our leaders thinking beyond their weapon system, beyond their service, beyond their agency, beyond their nation, to make the most well-informed decisions possible. Folks that have gone out and done that obviously are good to have on the faculty so we can bring that, hey, we've kind of been there, done that, watch out for this, look out for that, be ready for this, and that, it's good to have that kind of real-world experience on the staff and on the faculty to uh, impart to the students. The other thing I think is important is the, the balance that active duty military brings to this faculty. When you bring in the, uh, the expertise across the domains, you bring in the operational relevancy, couple that with the expertise that you get from the civilian faculty, the students get a much better product. It's not uncommon for uh, many of the sister service students, even as well as some of the faculty, to have not served alongside a Marine in person. So, uh, you know, it's important that the, that the three Marine faculty members here at the Air War College and the two Marine faculty members at Air Command and Staff College bring their experiences and their joint experiences uh, to this educational arena. You start with the national security strategy, go into the national military strategy. You look at how the federal government and specifically the president and secretary of defense, Congress, make decisions with regard to uh, securing our vital interests. And JPME gives students an opportunity to assess our priors and evaluate uh, just how all of those decisions come together. That direction that we get from higher authorities that is legislated, um, that comes from the joint staff, gives us the desired leader attributes that we want to make sure that our students, our graduates, have. We really walk it back from there for these officers to understand, hey, here's the role of the joint force in this fight, of the joint force as part of an intergovernmental organization, delivering national effects objectives to achieve security strategy uh, in states. So it's very integrated, uh, dovetails well together, and based on a, a combined experienced faculty we're able to see that from different perspectives in our own experience and in different ways that we've learned it, impart that to the students, exercise it, let them perform in uh, case study environments and uh, seminar environments so that they go out and they're ready to go.